Welcome back everybody. On today's episode, we're gonna to try to fix this overheating issue on black sheep here. As you can see, she'd been puking out some rusty junk out of the radiator, if I remember right, before we pulled the 318 out of this truck. This is the original radiator that's in the truck. I think it, it had an overflow issue when it had the 318 in it. It was puking out the same way, but we never did drive it that far, so, and that could be an issue with the heater core leaking. It could be plugged up and there was some rust and junk. So to try to remedy this problem, we picked up this Blue Devil radiator flush. It's supposed to degrease, remove rust. So we'll try that out. To go along with that, we got a new thermostat because it doesn't have a thermostat in it right now. And a new radiator cap. Before we can do the uh, radiator flush on this thing, we have to go pick up some fuel for it. So let's load the dog up and load the gas tank up and head to the gas station. Just got back from the gas station. Got some E Free 87 right there for this thing. I tend to like to run ethanol free fuel in my carburetors. And if you'll notice, there's something different sitting on top of that manifold now. That's a whole nother issue we'll go into here in a little bit. But it's 80 degrees out here. We got a nice breeze blowing. Got my two sidekicks out here with me. Mama's at work. What better way to spend a Father's Day weekend than working on some hot rods? Okay, y'all. Per the instructions on the bottle, we dumped that bottle in the radiator and filled it right up to the brim. We started with a cold engine. We cranked it up. Let it, well, I brought the idle up a little bit just so to get everything circulating. We let it run for 20 minutes. And now we're going to let it cool down and drain that out. I'm going to take our water hose and flush out that radiator. Probably take that bottom hose loose. And I did this once before already and it, everything started flowing out clear before. And I thought I had it all flushed out, but apparently there's some other stuff still in the system. So I don't know if you can see that or not. It's puking out of that overflow right now. I may have done stopped. So, we'll wait and see what the verdict is on this deal. So, to explain that Holly 750 being on the motor, we needed to do a jet change on this 650 that I had on there, which it was running pretty good. It's just a little bit fat, so I pulled it off and was going to do a jet change on it. When we got inside the bowls, we discovered that, I don't know if this is a manufacturer defect or Maybe the ethanol that we had left in the tank, the ethanol fuel we had left in the tank may be a cause of this issue, but the finish is eating off the inside of these bowls and it was flaking off. I don't know if it's paint or if it's some kind of epoxy coating, but it was flaking off in big chunks and it was just dumb luck it hadn't clogged the jets up already or made its way farther through the carburetor. So. The only option I'm left with now is to try to get the rest of this inside coating off of this, these fuel, bowl, fuel bowls on this 650. So I got a Dremel with a wire wheel attachment, soft wire wheel. I worked on it a little bit. It, it got to, to the point that it's at now. So now I'm gonna try some acetone and see if that'll break it down even further and then once I get it all off, I'm going to try to polish the inside of these bowls up so we don't have to worry about anything else down the road on these. Okay, 
Okay, y'all, we just got done with that little short test drive there. The tune-up felt a whole lot cleaner in it. By looking at these plugs, they cleaned up a whole lot. Still got a little stumble in it. I don't know. We'll have to check the power valve in it, see what size power valve's in there. Uh, the heat got up to about 210 on us. This might be that small block radiator. Might not be big enough to handle it. So, I got an electric fan in there. I might throw that on as well. Throw it on the front side of the radiator, then it'll have two fans on it. And we'll see how that does. But it's not puking out of, out of the overflow, so that's a good sign. Now we just need to get the temperature to come down a little bit. Other than that, uh, discovered an oil leak. I'm not sure if it's... I'm going to have to get on there and check the oil pan. It might be the oil pan bolt loose. I'm hoping it's not the rear main seal, but... If it is, we just have to cross that bridge when we get to it. Just, uh, only thing left we got to do now is wire up that alternator and we're gonna have to put some power steering on this thing because it's just too hard to drive it without it. So I might end up making me some brackets or something to work that deal out. But thanks for watching y'all. Come on back for the next one.